Okay, hello everyone, my name is George Santa Cruz and today I'll be uh, showing you a tutorial where you can use uh, 3D camera and uh, two images in uh, 3D perspective. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, we're going to make a new composition. You could use any of the presets on here. I'm just going to use 600 by 397 uh, frame rate 29.97 and duration 10 seconds. Okay, so that's our our composition. Okay, first of all, we're going to change the background to a nicer one. So we're just going to go to Layer, New, Solid. It could be any color. So I'm just going to leave it at white. Make Composition Size and press OK. Alright, now we're going to apply an effect to it. Uh, so while this selected, let's go to Effect. Scroll down to Noise and Grain. Fractal Noise. As you can see, there's it changes. We're just going to leave the uh, first settings uh, alone. It should be fine. And we're, we're going to bring the uh, contrast a little bit up. Say about 200. That's good. Now, okay. Now we're going to go to Transform. We're going to unclick the Uniform Scaling. Scroll down a little bit more. And where it says Scale Height, we're going to bring it all the way up. As you can see, it only goes to 600. And uh, to do to make it go to a higher number, we're gonna click on the uh, blue numbers and just type in uh, 5,000. Uh, as you can see, there are some nice lines going up and down, so that's what we want. Okay, now we're gonna scroll down to where it says evolution. Okay, in evolution, while you're at the first frame, we're gonna apply a keyframe. Okay. So I'm just going to open this so you can see what's happening right here. Fractal noise. And there's a keyframe right there. So we're going to go all the way to the end, to the last uh, keyframe, I mean to the last uh, frame. And we're going to go back to our settings, or it could be either right here, or right here, doesn't really matter. We're going to go right here. We're going to, where it says zero, we're going to change it to four. Alright. As you can see, it changes. If I type it right here, it changes over here also. And we'll go to our first um, frame. As you can see, there's a nice animation going on right there. Okay, so, now we're going to apply a mask to this. So, we're going to go to our elliptical mask tool. It should be under the rectangular mask tool. So, once it's selected, uh, just double click on it, and a mask should appear, revealing the, uh, the background. So, let's open the mask and bring the uh, mask feather all the way to step in 200 that's a good number and it it adds a nice effect to it so that's good now we're going to lock this layer and bring our first picture to our composition and these pictures uh, I cropped them on Photoshop so pretty much any picture should work should work my bad. Okay, so that's good, you can see right there. What we're going to do, we're going to play a 3D, uh, we're going to put it in 3D perspective. So there's a little cube right here, a little icon. We're going to press just under that, beneath that. And as soon as you do that, uh, three uh, arrows should appear. A green one, a red one, and a blue one. We're going to go to the blue one, which is the Z axis. And we're going to, while well, holding shift and pressing on the, uh, on the image, on the uh, Z axis, we're going to pull it back. We're going to pull it all the way out, all the way to the back. Okay, so we're just going to put it about right there. That's good. That's good. Now we're going to bring our other picture and put it below that, or just on top of that picture. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to click on the uh, 3D uh, icon right here. We're going to go to our C axis while holding shift. Take it just a little bit to the back, like that. Alright, that's good. We have our background, our two soccer players, and now we need a camera. So we're going to go to Layer, New, Camera. Excuse me, New Camera. I'm going to choose uh, 35 millimeters. You could pretty much uh, choose any of the presets. So I'm just going to choose the 35 millimeters and open our settings for the camera. On the first frame, we're going to apply a keyframe. 
uh, one for the uh, point of interest and another one for the position. We're going to move a couple of frames forward and we're going to go to our camera uh, tools which are right here. It's the uh, fifth one from the uh, from the left to the right. I'm going to click one or you could simply press C and you could toggle toggle in between all of the uh, three three tools. So we're going to use the dolly and it's the one with the uh, little circle and two uh, two, tri two triangles on top and, and under it. So we're going to use that one. While holding shift again, we're going to zoom in. Now we're going to toggle to our other, to our move tool. And we're going to center this right here like that. And zoom in a little bit more. And that's good. Okay, now we're going to move a little, like I'll say, two frames forward. And we're going to apply another frame. They're right here to the side, and then move a little bit forward, and then I'm gonna toggle, press and see. I'm gonna pull out, all right, until I see my other soccer player. So I'm just gonna move this, adjust this, zoom in a little bit more. That's good. Right there, that's good. As you can see, the uh, pictures are already on. On a on 3D on the 3D dimension on 3D space, so we have our animation pretty much. You could just go to the first frame and preview it. Zooms in and it zooms out. That's good. Now to add a nicer effect, uh, we're gonna apply a motion blur to both of the images. All right, so we're gonna select both of the images and there are three circles and those are the uh, motion blur um, icon this icon right here, we're going to select those for both of the images and we're also going to activate the uh, main motion blur um, button which is on top of the uh, timeline so don't forget to do that or else it won't work so let's go to our... Now we can see the motion blur right here, it's quite nice so let's ramp preview these And as you can see right here, it's, it gives it a nice effect, a nice motion blur, like it, as if, if we were going really, really fast. And that's the tutorial. I hope we, you enjoyed it. And uh, my name is George Santa Cruz, and thank you for watching.